friends welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome my channel is all about balcony gardening with succulents and cacti and a lot of house plants today we are going to be doing some potting up of a propagation that I did recently on my golden pothos and I believe these little guys are all ready to be potted up so let's get to it Okay, so I've got two methods that I use to propagate these cuttings, one in water and one in sphagnum moss. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. I'm going to be using, just wiped it off here, I'm going to be using this ceramic pot to plant them up in. It's got holes in it and I'm using this old dryer sheet to cover up the holes so the dirt doesn't come out. So that's that and then I've got my soil all mixed up here it's um, potting mix perlite worm castings and some um, cocoa coir uh, mulch I didn't have the cocoa coir uh, the regular brick just had the mulch so that'll work just fine for them so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here use this water once they're potted up to water them I had a lot of cuttings taken from my golden pothos and um, this was done I'll put the exact date on here I want to say it's been about almost three weeks but you can see the roots on here even some secondary roots Water propagation I find is really the best for um, pothos, any kind of pothos. They just take to it so easily. Within a week I was seeing uh, roots on these. So those are good. Now I had not propagated these before in moss. So let's see how they did. now. I had noticed that this one here, this leaf was turning uh, yellow. I'm going to be cutting this off when I plant it, but I do see that there are roots, and I noticed right away that um, they're not as big as the ones propagated in water, but they're still good. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. My thought when I did these cuttings in um, sphagnum moss was that they already had some aerial roots on them and I wanted to plant them up like this to see if they would grow from the aerial roots, which it did. It did exactly what I expected it to do. And I'm going to be putting planting them like this across here and these more in the front so it'll trail down um, the shelf that I want to put this at and I'll be planting these right here so it'll fill up the back and it'll start sprouting from here so I'll take these other ones out So I took them over to the sink and took off as much of the moss as I could. Now I'm just going to separate these a little bit. So in looking at these, I have a lot here. I'm going to use another pot also, there's another liner, to pot some of these up because there's just a lot and I can't believe that almost all of them have stems growing from them already with leaves on them. So I'm going to pot some up in this and I'm going to hang this one and I'll put this one on a shelf. So set 
that aside. I will use these in this one. the soil moist the first couple of weeks checking on it don't I'm not gonna let it dry out because they're going from water and moist sphagnum moss if we don't if I don't water the soil and keep it moist for the at least until I can see that they've taken well then um, you can send them in the shock this one and there's a good chance of losing them and I don't want to do that okay. and some off too so now for this one here just kind of to anchor them in Place the rectangular pot here in my propagation shelf. Really didn't have anywhere else to put it. Let me turn off the light here because it's so bright. And I think it's going to do well here. You can see that it already has leaves coming out and stems growing. I put a little rock there to kind of hold them in place until they get used to this pot and really take root. But I'll keep a close eye on it and make sure that the soil stays moist for it. So let's go in the bedroom and see where I place the other one. Now this is a temporary setup. I had to kind of jimmy this up here and hang it from my closet door. And um, this is not a very good looking macrame, but it's a temporary situation until I find a more permanent spot for it. And I'm able to keep a close eye on it again to make sure that the soil is moist and um, it gets really good light here from the seas facing window. So it'll do well here. If you enjoyed this video, friends, please do give it a like and um, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe also if you're not already subscribed. We have a wonderful plant community here and I think you really enjoy it. And comment down below if you've done propagation like this before too. Have a blessed day friends. Thank you.